not a local politics, and he wanted to be president, but that didn't work out well for him. So now Andrew Yang, the entrepreneur turned wannabe politician, now wants to be mayor of New York, the next mayor, reducing income inequality and leveling the playing field, his two big issues. And tonight, questions about how he's going to pay for it, how we're going to pay for it. Here's political reporter Dave Evans. I am so thrilled to announce to you all that I am running for mayor of New York City. Andrew Yang, who ran for president last year, is by far the highest profile candidate in the race for mayor. He launched his campaign last night with this video showing he's a longtime New Yorker since 1996. Mets or Yankees? Let's go Mets. Knicks or Nets? I'm sorry, Knicks, but you've been too bad for too long. But the Yang campaign is already facing a stiff headwind over the New York Times revelation that when COVID first hit in March, Yang and his family went to their second home in upstate New York. He later told the Times, can you imagine trying to have two kids on virtual school in a two bedroom apartment and then trying to do work yourself? But that's exactly what so many New Yorkers have been facing these last 10 difficult months. Yang's comment was seen as insensitive, tone deaf or both. I don't think that one sentence taken out of context in a media interview, frankly, should be like uh... Yang today struggled with the question. His mayoral opponent, Eric Adams, said, we deserve better than out of touch politicians. The Manhattan Borough president said, we all stayed here and fought for New York. He will forever be known as the insensitive guy who talked about his wonderful house upstate while the rest of us were locked in our homes. Yang today said anyone who knows him knows he truly cares. I feel very deeply and painfully what every family in New York, New York City has been going through over this past number of months. Yang does have some refreshing ideas about government. He wants the mayor to control the MTA, and he wants a basic income program for every poor New Yorker, up to $5,000 guaranteed by the government. We will lift hundreds of thousands of New Yorkers out of extreme poverty, putting cash relief directly into the hands of the families who desperately need help right now. Andrew Yang certainly shakes up the race for mayor. He is not paying for his own campaign. He will gladly take donations, and election day is fast approaching. It's actually only about five months away. Primary day is set for June 22nd.